Wednesday to all the lovers out there. And uh, yo, big shout out to uh, Jelly Bean on the YouTube. Happy Valentine's Day to Jelly Bean for real. <laughs> Showing mad love on the YouTube. I love it. Okay, we're going to get into it. This is a wonder five breakdown real quick. So we did ended up coming back into uh, this range here, right? The dollar 30 range. Now, what I'm look, it's funny because Jelly Bean was asking for a volume climax. I think we maybe might have seen a bearish volume climax in this case, right? On WonderFi. I'm usually used to seeing bullish volume climaxes. It's a signal where you could exit the stock, take gains. It's it's really easy to identify too. Um, but we could be looking at a bearish volume climax right now. So we had a big fallout. We broke below our, we thought it was our demand zone, right? It still technically could act as demand later, but now we're going to be looking to see, will it act as resistance? This $1.69 range. Essentially what a volume climax is, is when there is basically, so from a bullish perspective, it's when you run out of buyers and there's now a climax, right? A volume, right? So a large amount of volume leading into like an amount of sellers that we, we max out. So in this case, sorry, the amount of buyers that happens to max out in this case, we're looking at sellers. So this could be a sign that we're running out of sellers in the stock because we're running into a climax of volume, right? If you look here, it's steadily increasing until we've hit the all time high of volume. Like this is like the most volume that's been printed since the IPO. So it's not a guarantee. Like obviously we could go lower, right? Think of it if, if crypto decides to shit the bed right now, like this name could go a lot lower, but I like, in the the wicks we're getting we were getting a lot of wicks down here and we ended up going lower so what i will be looking for is a base we need a base so that's what i want to see in wonderfy technologies in the coming weeks of course it would also help to see the rest of the crypto set sector like kind of pop off the block fi commercial went up on the super bowl last night seen that very funny with Kyle Lowry missing a bunch of shots. So, hey, maybe that's low key like a signal right? that like you don't want to miss this opportunity, right? Who knows what they're trying to basically uh, sublim subliminally say in that video. But essentially what I'm looking at now is that I want to see some sort of a reaction here where we're defending this zone kind of like down here, right? Like, I don't want us to keep going lower. If we are, then maybe it needs a little bit more time, right? It also depends what your time frame is for the trade. So think about that, right? Before you start making these trades, like, what's your time frame? Is this something you want to hold long term? If it is, then, hey, man, scooping more shares down here might not be a bad idea. But keep that in mind, right? Because, like, when I make a trade, like, lately I've been kind of doing short term trying to get swing trades in it's been difficult right i've had opportunities to take gains but um i was kind of looking for like a longer term positional trade so keep that in mind right like make sure you understand the risk and then you have your your levels like where you're going to exit if you're wrong or where you're going to exit if you're right so um that's just something i want to mention just because i'd hate for you guys to like be watching the videos and then oh wow he told me to get in like no i i didn't tell you to get i didn't tell you to do nothing <laughs> that's kind of the breakdown right now what we're seeing potentially we got this bearish volume climax which would be a good sign for the bulls and maybe it's time for us to step in defend this range create a base and curl back up higher so i'll be keeping a keep posting videos on this in the coming weeks to see like what we got going on easy guys happy valentine's day